Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Well, today is a special day because today I'm going to start a series uh, with makeup looks that are inspired by flowers. So I'm going to call it a flower series and it's going to be different makeup looks, very colorful makeup looks inspired by different flowers. And I got that idea by watching many Instagram pictures and YouTubers doing wonderful colorful looks, makeup looks and I want, wanted to do that myself but I wanted to do something new and today the first video is going to be uh, inspired by this flower and it's a very easy summer flower, it's called Gloriosa Daisy, I think I pronounced it right, looks like this it's a, a wonderful yellow flower and for that look I'm going to use for the first time, so this is also going to be a first impression of this wonderful palette and it's, and it's Violet Voss Ride or Die palette. I haven't used it, I haven't even touched it. I got it for a couple of weeks ago and I really love all the shades, the colors in here, but I wanted to do a special video uh, with this palette, the swatches and everything, but I just... Uh, haven't been able to film that for some reason and that's why I'm going to use it today. So it has a nice big mirror and beautiful shade. I have some yellow shades that I'm going to use and dark shade that I need for this look. So let's zoom in and if you want to see that please uh, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's zoom in and start. So first I'm going to wet my sponge just to have it a little bit damp and put some powder under my eyes because I already have makeup on and I already have eyeshadow primer also I'm going to use this powder to bake under it or just put a lot of powder so I don't mess my makeup I wanted to do a series for a long time but I didn't really know uh, what I wanted to do. wasn't really sure, so I got this idea and I think flowers, I do like flowers. So I decided to start with that and I hope you like it. And I'm going to use my new brushes from Paris Berlin. And let's start with uh, this shade here, all over my lid. And I'm actually going to use this mirror. just to set that um, eyeshadow primer that I have on my eyelids. So I'm going to use Erika, this shade, in my as my tra transi transition shade, can't speak properly today. A very soft shade, so I think I'm going to use another also darker shade. Just to deep up my crease a little bit. And I think I want to do Abigail, this shade here. And the brushes are very soft. I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to dip up my eyes a little bit. So I think I'm going to do take a little bit of this shade Alice here and just deep up my crease a little bit and now I'm not going to bring that shade up too high keep it low here just blend a little bit well this palette is beautiful but it is a little bit heavy holding it like this it's a little bit heavy for me holding this palette, so I'm going to switch to my mirror instead. I'm going to take this brush that I used for my crease without any eyeshadow on, just blend a little bit. And then I'm going to dip my crease a little bit more, and I think I'm going to use Ashley. It's this shade down here. So let's switch to the yellow shades now. I think I want to use 
this Dahlia, this one here, in my crease also. So I'm going to use my crease brush and that shade is a little bit shimmery I think it is. So that's why I used matte shades before this one. Then I want to use another brush. Let's take this brush again that I used in my crease and take this black one, this black here, and uh, dip this one is very pigmented. I'm switching between these brush two brushes and I'm going to dip this black more and just blend it in until I'm happy with the results. Now when I'm happy with how, how this with how this look, I'm going to take my paint pot in shade Orchi, Orchi, soft Orchi and or Orchi, I don't know how to pronounce that and cut my crease a little bit I can't really see much when I close this eye how when I end work with this one I can't really see all the details so that's why it looks messy right now but we are going to fix that I promise we're going to blend that all the shades together so let's start with applying a lot of the shade on my eyelids and I don't know really which one I will use will I use Ella it's too light first uh, let's see Jane or Jessica or Paula well I think I'm going to use Jane this one here on my eyelids look how the swatches look this palette is amazing really like it so Jane is going to get on my eyelids right now Ooh. and this is without fi fix plus and to make it more yellow we're going to try to use a little bit of fix plus my is almost empty Let's see what I'm doing to turn the brush and use a little bit of this lighter line the center let's use it all over the eyelid because it looks beautiful with these two shades together mixed together becomes more yellow can you see the difference I think I'm going to use Ella also over the Jane because it becomes more yellow and that's what what we want I'm going to take another brush and this is from its eyeshadow brush I don't know what brand I use Erica under my lower lash just to blend that together Let's take all this Ashley also a little bit. And let's take a little bit of this Carly, the black one, and just put it here and not bring it all the way. And then we are going to take this flat brush and take Ella and Jane together and bring them here. Take Ella here with my finger. Take a little bit of this curly black on my finger and blend. Try to blend this a little bit more. And a clean finger. 
let's take Blenny Rush and take Michelle and April and that's let me show you these two shades blend them together under my eyebrows so let's clean this up put some mascara on and I'll be right back so the mascara is on now I'm going to put let me see where is it this um, Isadora Kyle waterproof pen this is in shade grey and now of course if you want you can put some eyeliner on or uh, eyelashes but I'm actually going outside today shopping and I think the lashes and eyeliner will be a little bit too much with this makeup look for me going out now on daytime so that's why I choose not to do that for the lips I'm going to look put this uh, let me see beauty made easy lip balm looks like this all on my lips turns a little bit too pink so that's why I'm going to take this palette again from Violet Voss and actually I'm going to use a mix of these two shades this is L, let me put the mirror down Ella and uh, Paula the mix of these two together and just put them all over my lips and then over it I'm going to go with this makeup store gloss lips to make it more shiny and for the highlighter I'm going to use this beautiful palette from BH Cosmetics black light highlighter palette and I'm going to use Electra as my highlight today use this brush from uh, Real Technique I think I don't know what, what it's called but so for my Final thoughts about this palette. I really really enjoy using this palette. The colors are soft and very easy to build up and blend together. Now I have to play a little bit more with this palette to give you my full uh, thought because I haven't I didn't swatch it before. I haven't used it before this video, so I don't really know or how all the shades work, but the shades that I used today were wonderful. So I don't actually I think this palette is very nice it's big it's kind of too heavy for me to hold it like this and do my makeup so I know you can't really take it all the way back yes yeah, so the packaging is a little bit big but the shades are beautiful so this is my final makeup look I hope you like it if you have a tip or uh, you want to see me do makeup look inspired by a flower please let me know what flower you want me to do my makeup inspired by down below and i will of course try to do that and try to do my best this is the first video of this series i hope you like it and thank you so much much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video bye